Okay, I've been wanting to make this video for a while to detail some of the things I've done with my uh, Windows 7 Media Center. So I'm going to launch Windows 7. This is my desktop right now. I try to auto-hide the toolbar, but you can still see the line of pixels at the bottom of the screen. You can see how I have made my desktop background match my Windows Media Center background. Okay. First thing I want to show you is my movie menu. On my movie menu, I have added Crackle and HBO Go. Now what these do is they launch the Internet Explorer websites inside Windows Media Center. Another thing I've done, this looks like the standard movie library strip. But once you select it, you can see I'm going right into my media browser menu. I've used the subdued theme. I just kind of like the way that it looks, the way that it works. Go ahead and launch out of that. On my music strip, I have added Pandora, which again just launches the Internet Explorer inside Windows Media Center. Under sports, I have loaded the ESPN3 plugin uh, that I found on Made for Media Center, which is, works really well. And also under, what is it, under, not my music library, under TV, I've also added a shortcut to Comcast's Xfinity On Demand. Uh, since obviously using the cable card, I lose the ability to download On Demand uh, video programming. Now I can go right to their website and pull it up. One of my favorite things that I've been able to do uh, I went into the ArcSoft folder where it has all of the PNG files that make up the user interface and I've replaced them. So now I get a little bit more of a clean look going right from Windows Media Center to ArcSoft. I get sort of the same thing when I go from the movie library straight into uh, ArcSoft. Now I use Media Browser. Uh, I save my files as a couple of different kinds of things, but here we go. We'll, we'll launch Active Valor, Blu-ray disc, and I have it set to use the Windows Media Center interface to launch. My splash screen that it pulls up is that same background to try to keep a clean interface, and there the movie plays. Hit stop takes you right back into Media Browser, one button, sends you right back into the movie menu. These are just a few of the tweaks that I've come up with that I thought I'd share. Uh, if anyone has any questions, you can message me right on the AVS forum.